Okay, good morning again. Uh, it is uh, still Tuesday, September 8th. It's 8.49 a.m. Um, and I know some people, because I would be, are like, how is he in the same shirt for like three days now? Okay, well, for those of you that don't know, I have no laundry money right now, and my GA, which I depend on to live, uh, got interrupted. So I am I expected to have money on the third. I don't now. So, which turned out to be good because I was not able to buy cigarettes, and that's helped me stay quit of cigarettes and tobacco. But uh, anyway, so that's why I had the same shirt on for like three days in a row, which seems very dirty. But I've been I hand laundry. I've been doing hand laundry with some stuff, and in the case of the shirt, I honestly I have not hand laundered this at all. I've done mostly my underwear. Uh, but what I do is, you know, I try to keep this neat and then I hang it up. You know, it's not going to kill you and I don't stink. So, like, I still, you know, I'm showered and all that kind of shit, but I've been wearing the same shirt. And so there, if you don't like it, like, fuck you. Too bad. I'm not perfect, you know? I try to be perfectly imperfect is what I try to do. And I think that comes off almost as good. That's about the best we can hope for, right? And life is that. So, anyway, um... What, what I'm doing this morning is omelet video number two, the same exact omelet that I made last time with the addition of, I'm gonna to remember to put the cottage cheese in this time. So here's what happened. The other day, uh, I did the omelet video. I'm gonna put my Consuelo apron on, hold on, I just realized I don't have that. Um, all right, so I realized the other day though, uh, talking to my mom, who, uh, yeah, I love my mom in a way, man. She, I could be like, mom, I don't want you to like talk about that. I don't want you to talk about that. And she's like, okay. And then like a mi a mi two minutes later, she's like, you know, I just want to say though, but like, and she doesn't give up. She's like me. She, if she's, she need, you know, I'm going to do what I'm going to fucking do. You know what I mean? If Justin is nothing's going to stop me. My mom is exactly the same way. It just, sometimes it's in contrast to the stuff that I want. So we butt heads. Um, but anyway, so what she did say, and I was half listening to her when she said it, uh, I'm walking over to my friend's house to, to, uh, to bring her some, I forget what it was, to do something. I was going over to a friend, a neighbor down, downstairs, and I was going to, uh, I don't know, I was bringing something, I don't remember what it was. But anyway, so I'm half listening to my mom, you know, she's just going on and on and on and on like moms do. And I know it's about um, what I did wrong in my omelet video, you know, and she wasn't being like... You know, you fucked it up. And she was just like, hey, you know, next time, why don't you do, you know, this? Because I, when I worked at this nursing home um, or at the hospital, she's a respiratory therapist for a living, by the way. Um, she worked at the hospital. And she's like, the way they used to do omelets for patients that, that made them to order was, and she explained this whole setup. Well, anyway, I'm on the way to my friend's house. And all I'm hearing is you're trying to tell me what to do. Is what I'm hearing. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm like, Ma, eh, no, no, I don't want to hear any comments. I don't want to hear anything. I know, uh, you know, but I'm sort of, again, I'm half, li I'm listening because I'm always, I'm a greedy fucker when it comes to knowledge. Like as much as I want, I want to be the best in stuff. I do so much so that I cannot help but keep my ear open. You know what I mean? And see if there is something that someone that I think doesn't have to tell me anything might actually be telling me something because I'm that greedy I'm a fucker. I don't want to be one up. So that I will, you know, I'm always still listening just in case. So anyway, so I realized like I'm kind of processing it on the way back after I got the phone and I'm like, wait a minute. Da -da 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 -da. What do I know about omelets? Oh my God. Oh shit. Yeah. She's absolutely right. That's exactly what we need to do. Um, it, it you know, it, it was confirmed by stuff I already knew, but I, I just wasn't kind of putting it all together. And here's what she said. Okay. Um, number one, I, and I did consider, I told her this too, I did consider doing this the other day and I just didn't, you know, that way. I, I don't know why, I just maybe wanted to make it easier, maybe didn't think I needed to, you know, but so my mom pointed out some really cool and, and things that I needed to keep in mind and that's what we're going to implement today. And that is this, okay, all these ingredients right here are, now what I did is again, I put all the, uh, I put the red pepper, I put the tomatoes because I don't, you know, I don't know, I'm going to throw in the tomatoes and saute them with the, you know, even though I think that the way to do it might be to just leave, put them in at the last minute so that way they're not, like, cooked. Because I don't think I've ever seen somebody sauteed, like, to me, really, unless you're doing it. So, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a professional, so who knows. All right. So, anyway, the tomatoes are in here, uh, red onions in here, and then also um, the red pepper is in there. Okay, so it's all in one. So, we're going to saute this first and put the kale in there. We're going to saute this together, all right? 
And then when it's done, we're gonna pull it out, drain it real quick, and then put it off to the side. Then we're going to start our omelet, okay? And we're gonna wait until, kind of like the pancake, when the pancake's ready to flip, um, is about the time with the scrambled eggs that we're going to throw in this stuff, okay? So what'll happen is, in order to do that, uh, we don't have we don't have the disadvantage of uh, these ingredients. The omelet will be more like what you get when you go and you order an omelet in a restaurant, and and we'll go in there like let's put it that way. Okay, I, that's that's the quickest and easiest way I uh, uh, can can put it put across what I'm trying to say right now. You know what I mean? Because I'm all Anton coffee, and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. none of this is scripted as usual. I just kind of talk off the cuff. So, um, anyway, part of the reason for that is is that remember the other day? I don't know if I mentioned this with the omelet, but I have mentioned this before uh, with other uh, ingredients um, about adding something to what's already cooking, cooling it down. All right, and the vegetable. Uh, yeah, I did mention this with the omelet. So uh, what that does kind of avoid is like having that happen while the eggs are cooking and then you get this like stuff isn't quite right. What happens is we're gonna add these vegetables to the omelet pretty much almost when the omelet is pretty much almost done. Like, I mean, remember, it's not gonna take that long for that, for that to go on. And uh, that way your ingredients aren't gonna overcook. They're not gonna get soggy and it's not gonna make you have to cook the omelet longer then you should have to because you added these in too soon and it cooled it down, all right? So let me uh, freshen my coffee. Oprah, if you're watching this, I love you. I'll make you food, I'll get you fatter. I think I'd rather go over to your house for food though. That'd probably be a better experience. So if you want to invite me over, Oprah, uh, well, you know my address. You can find it on my Facebook page. And by the way, my Facebook page, uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook, is facebook.com forward slash JTCSF. All right. And you can search for me on YouTube by my name, Justin Bowman. And my email address is JTC at Acernet.org. Okay. And Oprah, I'm the Justin Bowman in South San Francisco. You can do the rest. If you got the power, you know what's up. Okay? All right. So, um, so here we go. We're going to go ahead. I already started the, uh, there's already oil in here. We're going to saute these vegetables right now. I'm trying to see if I can, maybe I can do it in a way that, yeah, there we go. Why don't we do that? Excellent. I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm excited about everything. I just I'm a little like amped fucking like like kid on crack. Like ah, you know what I mean? I just I'm just wah. Wah. All right. So this is going to get hot here pretty quickly hopefully cuz I'm an impatient fucker. I like to do everything now. Now, now, now. Let's go, go, go people. I'm late for a meeting. Where's my fucking coffee? You know what I mean? All right. That was Kevin's. For those of you that don't know and have not seen Swimming with Sharks, that was that was me doing Kevin's face from Swimming with Sharks. Which honestly, I, I do myself anyway because I'm kind of a dick sometimes. But I try not to be a dick. And I try to do it with comedy. Try to make myself relax, not take myself too seriously. All right. There we go. What would Oprah do? I don't know, but I think who is it that said Kathleen Madigan said that she should hire her own professional food slapper to slap fucking food out of her hands? Like, I, for, some comedian did this like skit of it like I don't know how Oprah gains weight she's got all this fucking money she can literally pay somebody to slap the food out of her fucking hand you know what I mean I'm like yeah that's kind of true but you know what why would you want to slap food out of your hand the eating is very enjoyable and Oprah I think would agree with me on that and so I mean there you go and that's why Oprah I don't know 
she she yo-yos, you know. What I mean, I have no, I have not seen Oprah in a while. Like I haven't, so I don't know if she's fat right now or she's like the skinnier version of herself. I have no idea. But she's still fucking bomb and she's badass and I love Oprah, fat or thin. She has a super soul, whether it's Sunday or any other day of the week. Okay. One thing, you know, it's kind of funny is like, it sticks out in my mind with Oprah. Because I can imagine how she must feel because, you know, like, you're busy, you do the best you can, but sometimes you can't vet everything to the, like, you know, and she's been, she's sometimes endorsed people that turned out to be like, fuck, you know, later. And I'm like, well, you know, if, don't worry, Oprah, I don't hold it against you, let's put it that way. And I don't think a lot of people do. They know, you know what I mean? You can't literally, when you're doing a lot of stuff and you got a busy schedule, you can't fucking know that, like, you know, the a million little pieces or whatever that, that guy was, you know, scam artist. And... Nonetheless, even if he is, a lot of times what the message is still true, even if the guy is a total fraud. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. If you have a priest in church on Sunday that doesn't believe a fucking word, a word of what he's saying, that's okay, because the Holy Spirit still works through the guy, the message is still true, and it's just him that's full of shit in his own mind. You know what I mean? It's like, he may think he's conning you, even. He may even think, like, I'm putting this over on him. Like, tell evangelists the same sort of thing. You know what I mean? They don't believe what they're saying sometimes, possibly. I mean, like in the case of Robert Tilton, totally full of shit. But, you know, outside of the send me money and God isn't going to help you unless you send me money for it, which is like a large part of his message, admittedly. But still, the stuff he may say about God, kind of uh, incidental to that, is still fucking true, whether he thinks it's true or not. And that's the cool thing. All right, so, ooh, it smells good here. Oprah, I'm telling you, you might want to come over. She's like, I can do that. I can have somebody do that at my own house. I don't need that shit, you know. But, but Oprah's pretty cool anyway. And she may, you know, I don't know. Hell, she actually may watch this. Who knows someday? Who knows? All right. Cooking is so much fun, you know, even if you don't, I'm not like a fantastic, you know what I mean? I, I learned some basic things, I take instruction, you know, and you don't need to know a ton to really just have a good time doing it, you know? If you don't cook very much at all, um, start by like, what are what are your favorite foods, you know what I mean? Learn to cook what you like to eat, you know what I mean? It'll make, it'll be the most engaging, you're going to want to do it, because that's the food, you know what I mean? You got all the incentive there, and you'll be very proud of yourself. For cooking, you know, and chances are, honestly, if you don't like to cook, you probably have very simple, like, consumption tastes, to, you know what I mean, anyway, you probably don't have very fancy food taste, and, you know what I mean, and, um, th th there are exceptions to that, so the point being, the takeaway from that, which is, like, a word I've been using a lot lately, thanks to the Republican National Convention, um, uh, is that, like, the stuff you like is probably well within your grasp, and so that's cool. That's, that's, we like that, right? So you can actually do it. And it, I'll tell you, just like the simple thing, you feel so good. The way this smells right now, I'm like, oh my God, ugh. Oh. And it, it's so easy to do. I feel like, I feel like uh, fucking, you know, Anthony Bourdain, still alive. Poor guy. All right. What happened there, huh? That shocked the hell out of everybody. All right. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and call this done. And what I'm doing is this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a second bowl here. I'm gonna tell you something, I don't know, I mean, I'm just gonna put this out there, because it's the truth and, you know, fucking, I don't know what it was, I'm still curious. I ate that omelet the other day, and I got the run. I had to go to the bathroom, I was, it was coming, it was like, you know what I mean? It was, I was, I got, I got, it gave me the shits. Let's put it that way. So I don't know what, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm saying this. <laughs> All right. You know what I mean? But like, 
It did. It, it wasn't... Hey, that's still the way you make an omelet, but I think what happened, you know, something could have been, I got the vegetables donated. Maybe they were a little old or something like that. You know what I mean? So like, it's not, it's not a shot against what I'm telling you to do. It's still the same process. Maybe a little bit of my food was not good or something. I don't know. But it wasn't from the preparation. It was not in the way we prepared it. I swear to God. So we're all good. That'll get some views on this. That right there. There we go. Because people are going to be you're going to watch this. This dude in the middle of just like came out just like it's nothing. Be like, you know, yeah, that I'll let it, I got the shits from that. All right. <laughs> so do what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we're going to add the, uh, now it's just time to make the omelet itself. Right? So here we go. Now I also have, like I mentioned, some cottage cheese I'm gonna try over. I'm really excited about this because I think it's gonna, now like we're gonna get it to look like an omelet instead of uh, a heap of a scramlet. I, uh, which I, I wish I would've came up with the term the other day, a scramlet is what I was gonna call what happened the other day with that, with that intended omelet. Um, scramlet. Okay, so then we're gonna, remember we wait. Oh fuck. All right, well, you know what I'm gonna do? This is just gonna go in. Shit. Because I like this this kale stuff. You know what I'm gonna do? Fuck it, I'm gonna sit right now. I'm gonna do this real quick, hold on. Where the fuck is the thing at? I'm gonna saute this really quickly because I do wanna put the kale in there. I do not leave it out. Um, because the kale was really good. It was an awesome addition. Come on, get in there. I think that, okay, so what I'm gonna do, we wanna wilt the kale, basically, is, is what's going on, so. There we go. Oh my God, yeah, now, yep, we got it now. We got it. Thank you, Mom. Look at that. Mom knew best. All the moms watching this out there going up, <laughs> did, you, did you have any doubts? Well, you know how us sons are, moms. All right. Sweet. Sweet Jesus. Now, you know what's happening here? We gotta put this up here. Because the burner's too small, we need a bigger. Here we go. Damn. That's awesome. Alright, so here's the kale. Alright. And we're gonna go ahead and. Put it right in here. What? Awesome. All right, I want you to see before I flip, okay? Oh shit, it just broke in half. Okay, hold on. We're still gonna, we're gonna still make it work though. Don't worry. 
There we go. All right. Now here we go. It's still going to be like more, much more like an omelet than it was the other day. You see, see where it cracked though, or, or split apart. All right. So we're, we're learning, we're learning, we're book learning here. I'm gonna move you guys over here. And then, because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this a la Julia Child the way my mom recommended it to get the omelet to come out of the uh, pan. And that is, watch, you're gonna see me plate it. And it's also gonna help fold it, all right? Wow, that's the, yeah, baby. That's pretty much, now what happened is because, here's where I fucked up. It is definitely a, a little bit, not burnt, but it, it's, you don't want it like, I don't want it like that. Some people like omelets that way, but there's too much brown on there for me. Um, and that happened, the reason is because uh, next time I'm gonna use a larger size burner. I use, I had to use of necessity, just the way I, because I didn't think ahead of time. And I didn't know, to, honestly, I didn't know. Um, here, let me just show you. I'm gonna have to use a bigger size burner because the center was cooking a lot uh, quicker than the edges. See how that would be? See, that's kind of that's pretty. I'm pre I'm impressed with that. That's pre that's like next time it's gonna be perfect. That's pretty fucking cool, right there. All right. So uh, here's my hand sanitizer. Come on, cock sucking cunt bitch fuck. See, I keep things don't go well. I try to be Mother Teresa, but you know, I turn into Kevin Spacey real quick. All right, hold on. So, um, let's just call it done. All right, I'm gonna upload this, and uh, thanks for watching. Tell Oprah, bon appetit, uh, have a good time, and uh, we'll be making more videos soon. All right, and if anybody wants to send me laundry money, uh, don't. Thank you.